All right, so today we're going to go over the two big farming routes in Cyberpunk 2077. And the first one here is probably the one that a lot of people already know. There's already a few videos out there on it. This one's available almost at the start of the game. And the reason you would want to do some of these farming routes and things, number one, you get XP, but you also bump up your street cred, right? You need that street cred in order to buy better weapons, gear, cyberware, all of that kind of stuff. But the other good reason is if you're using a certain type of weapons, right? Blades, for example. If you're using blades, then you can really level up blades really fast out here. Handguns, things like that, shotguns. So as always, start out with sleeping. You don't have to sleep the full 24 hours to get the one hour XP boost, but definitely get some sleep and then come over here and start. The very first time you come here in the game, there's gonna be a couple of those uh, police scanner missions and things out here. So there's a lot more enemies here the very first time you come through. And everybody's videos are a little bit different. Everybody's route's a little bit different, but the gist of it is the same. I've seen people come over here and immediately start in on the party people and then go attack the guys around the corner. The only thing is like if you attack those party guys right away sometimes like the, the civilians will run in the middle of you and they'll get hit by the crossfire and then the police come and things like that it's not a huge deal but it can get aggravating if you're like in the middle of a run and all of a sudden you've got you know a two star or three star wanted level and you're trying to just keep moving and then you have to keep stopping and dealing with the police so the one thing that I noticed that I do different is after I attack this next group, I like to go up and get the guys that are up there shooting down at you. I'm sure other people do it too, but I really like to go up there. There's a lot of enemies up there and they're all kind of bunched together so you can kill a bunch of people really quick. And early on, when you first start coming over here, it's, it's gonna be a little difficult. So play a little bit more conservatively, you know, bring in plenty of, uh, you know, health things to help out because uh, these guys will light you up once you come in here. I like, I'm just using the mono wire here and these, you know, grenades because I'm just trying to hurry up and get through this so this video is not 20 minutes long. But yeah, I mean, this is a great spot. The only thing is, like, when you are doing it over and over and over, this area will not be there. I'll show you guys here in a minute, but. That area is usually only there when you first like transport in from somewhere else. And I know all the other videos have said it too, and I'll say it again. But if you need parts and you know you're struggling for money and things like that, Eddie's, then pick this stuff up. There's a little uh, drop point right around the corner up here from the fast travel spot. Real easy to make a lot of money right here doing this while you're you know, out farming it anyway. But if you're just trying to get through here quick, then you can do that as well. So this is another spot that's really good, but it won't be there if you just keep running through it over and over and over. So you'll have to like fast travel out of the area for a while and then come back in. That can still be done pretty quick, but it's not gonna be there over and over and over again. Again, early on, these guys can light you up because they have a uh, net runner in there. And that net runner will put fire on you and, you know, just make you have a bad time. But yeah, here's the uh, fast travel point. So we're back at the beginning. That's it. So, again, there's two spots that won't really be on here when you are doing the, the repeated runs here. So the first one is this spot I was showing you guys a second ago um, up here between the buildings. Those guys just, they're not there. Sometimes I've seen them pop up there, but 99.9% .9 of the time, they're not gonna be there. And then the other one is gonna be over here in that little work site. But if you just fast travel out of that area, like go back to your apartment or something for a second and then come back, these guys will respawn in. I've seen other videos telling, hey, just drive down the street. You could probably do that, but in my experience, fast traveling out of there was was faster. All right, so the second one is a little trickier, right? This is in Pacifica. 
Um, it's going to take you a minute before you're able to get down here. This is by far a superior farming spot. It's superior in like every way, but depending on how you play and some of the choices you make when you get down to Pacifica, you may kill some of the effectiveness of this run. And I found that out the hard way. But it's still there afterwards, but it won't be as many enemies there. So, it, and for how big it is, it almost feels like, uh, I don't know, is it worth it or not? I like to start mine right from the fast travel spot. I get that guy right outside the cyberware store. And pretty much, man, in my opinion, anybody with like a yellow arrow over their head is open game on this. And there's just a ton of them here. Again, you gotta be careful over here. My first experience with uh, Max Tac was over here shooting with these guys and you know, the civilians running in front of me. But there's a ton of enemies here. And this is just the route that I like to do. And there's plenty more enemies like off to the sides and stuff. I like to get this guy, sometimes he's standing right outside of the shop, sometimes he's sitting in there. I like getting him, he'll light you up with a machine gun, so you gotta watch out. And then there's usually a group right to the right of where I'm at right there. Um, there's usually like a group of three down there, and sometimes there's even more up above you back there too. I've seen a lot of these routes start right here from the clothing store. And the cool thing is like you could kill all these people and then even kill like the guards or whatever at the clothing store and then just go in and buy stuff like nothing ever happened. All right, so the next thing we're going to is up onto the bridge. And the first time you come through here, I recommend doing this in the daytime so you can see where you're going because it's it looks a little bit different at night. So you, can get a little, you can get turned around. A lot of this stuff looks the same at night. And sometimes there'll be a net runner down here with these guys too. So after you kill these guys, sometimes there's people that spawn on the in the building right over there where I look. You, you notice I looked over that way. So if you got like something with a good scope on it, you might want to take those guys out. Next, you run straight back. You're gonna see these guys over here. They're you know grouped up pretty nicely. Maybe take some right out. And then this is one of the, this is like the only real spot that these guys may or may not spawn in here. And it's um, right here. I think the first uh, time you come over here, this might be like one of those uh, police scanner areas. I'm not 100% sure it feels like it is, but anyway, those guys are not always there. Do a little quick jump, see if they're down there. If not, just take this right, right here and save yourself a couple of seconds. This is a spot that gets people confused. So as soon as you come out there, you kind of want to follow that path. And then there's a break in the fence and just head toward the cranes. And then this is another spot that I've, I've seen some videos that's a little confusing out there. So there's the big group there. Everybody kind of knows about. But then there's a couple of other groups. And I don't know what it is about those grenades that bugs them out. Sometimes those laser grenades bug those guys out. But there's another smaller group up here on the left. So if you just keep going the direction you were going through the gate, you can get these guys right here. And again, the very first time you come over here, over in that area right there, there's a whole compound full of enemies, but I've never been able to make them respawn. So it may have been a one-time thing. Then you're gonna go across the street over here and there's gonna be three right here around this table. Sometimes there'll be a civilian sitting there with them, so I threw the grenade in there like an idiot, but sometimes there's a civilian there and you may get a one over there. And then just follow the sidewalk right here. The good thing in Pacifica is you don't really have to worry about too much traffic. There's not a lot of traffic down here. But get those three that are on that corner and then you're coming back up on the fast travel spot here. And there's a group right before you get back to the fast travel. And this is kind of the end of the route. That's it. All right, guys. Hopefully this all helped you guys out. And you'll come back to my channel for some more stuff in the future. I'm going to do a few more uh, cyberpunk videos this coming up week. So, All right. Take care. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.